Mubadala Capital, the financial investment business of Abu Dhabi's strategic investment company, is to set up under the jurisdiction of Abu Dhabi Global Market the capital's new financial free zone. Ahmad Al Sayyid, the chairman of ADGM, announced the move, saying that it confirms the strategy that our sovereign wealth funds will move into the jurisdiction. The move is a significant development in ADGM's growth, according to Mr Al Sayyid, who said that in just over a year since the market was declared open for business, it had attracted 210 firms, including some big name international financial institutions. Mubadala Capital, which holds equity and other interests in a number of global companies, already has a presence in the ADGM free zone, but Mr Al Sayyid said it will soon have a formal license as an ADGM entity. ADGM will also be reportedly launching an initiative to encourage aviation finance companies to set up an ADGM, with the market looking to enable companies to set and register a special purpose vehicle for financing aircraft. The global business aviation industry expects 8,600 new business jet deliveries from 2016 to 2026 worth $255 billion, lower than the value forecast in 2015. The reduction in deliveries comes amidst slow global growth, even as the Middle East Africa market bucked the global trend with improved five-year purchase plans. The statistics come as part of revised forecasts contained in the Honeywell Aerospace Global Business Aviation Outlook released on Tuesday at the Middle East Business Aviation Association show at Al Maktoum International Airport. While the latest global projection represents a 6 to 7 percent reduction from the values noted in the 2015 forecast, for 2016 Honeywell expects deliveries of approximately 650 to 675 new jets, a low to mid single digit percentage decline year over year. Deliveries in 2017 are projected to be slightly lower, reflecting transitions to new models slated for late 2017 and 2018 service entry. In the Middle East and Africa region, the share of projected five-year global demand recovered to just below its historic range of 4 to 7 percent this year, and some 21 percent of respondents stated that they will replace or add to their fleet with a new jet purchase, up from 16 percent last year, but still below the overall world average. Of the total purchase plans for new business jets, 21 percent are intended to occur by the end of 2017, while 18 percent are scheduled for 2018 and 2019 respectively. Operators are also continuing to focus on larger cabin aircraft classes, ranging from super mid-size through to ultra long range and business liners, which are expected to account for more than 85 percent of all expenditure on new business jets in the next five years. Residential rents in Sharjah have dropped for a second year running, brought on by drops in the Dubai market as well as new supply being delivered in the Emirate of Sharjah. According to property consultancy Cluttons, weaker job growth and the loss of tenants to Dubai has led to rising vacancy rates. With rates in Dubai down 8% on this time last year, Sharjah's landlords have been left with no choice but to lower rents in order to remain competitive. There also has been a marked decline in overall tenant requirements as tenants find themselves in the unique position of being spoilt for choice. For the year to date, Sharjah home rentals are down 7.1%, but even then this is still 30% up on what they used to be at the beginning of 2012. According to the head of research at Cluttons, the expectation for a 10% drop in average rents this year appears on track, while Dubai should see a reversal in the fortunes of its residential markets in autumn next year. The consultancy added that rents in Sharjah are likely to continue ebbing, with a further 5-7% to fall next year before things stabilise. And Abu Dhabi's national investment company revealed plans yesterday to start work on a 3 billion dirham project to expand Marina Mall, located at the south end of the capital's Corniche. NIC said that work will start on the extension in the first quarter of next year and that the existing mall will also undergo a 300 million dirham upgrade. The work is set to finish in 2019, which will, uh, which will be after the proposed opening dates for two new Abu Dhabi malls worth $1 billion each, Al-Mariya Centre and Reem Mall. 
The 120,000 square metre extension has been designed by TDP Architect, the Singapore firm behind the design of the Dubai Mall. The extension will consist of two parts to the north and south side of the existing mall and will add space for new luxury brands and a food court. NIC added that approvals for the project from Abu Dhabi's Urban Planning Council are well underway and tendering for a main contractor to build the extension is to take place over the next few months.